15 days after my review of Shape of You, Ed Sheeran is continuing to dominate the top two spaces on the singles charts. The aforementioned track is still occupying the top spot with today's song to be reviewed, Castle on the Hill following behind, and in this scenario it shouldn't come as a surprise that this song is, in my opinion at least, the better of the two. Thematically the song sees Ed reminiscing on his youth and events that stand out to him the most. First one covers a memory of Ed being chased by his brother and his mates before ending up breaking his leg. Not exactly a happy moment, but but hey, whatever sticks out the most I guess. With the pre-chorus paying further homage not only to his place of growing up but also to the same grassy location in particular where it was a place where he had his heart broken by a form of flame and where he made and lost most of his friends throughout the years. The second verse skips forward to Ed when he was 15 years old where he and his friends would smoke hand rolled cigarettes and booze it up on these same fields. He also drops a line about getting into trouble that would result in him being chased by the law and remember sharing his first kiss with someone on those same fields. The second pre-chorus continues on from the drinking angle where he and his friends got weekend jobs and would end up spending all of their money on alcohol and drink so much to the point where they would all end up throwing up as a consequence. The third pre-chorus covers where his friends are now and drops little details about other aspects of their lives from what they're doing for work to whether any of them are married or not to whether they have kids to, relati to any relatives they have that may have passed away. The chorus sees Ed driving on to what I assume is his parents home going way above the legal speed limit. Remember kids, speeding kills and particularly on those country lanes where you can't see a damn thing, singing along to Elton John whilst cheerfully reflecting on the happy times of his childhood. Instrumentally this is perhaps one of the best from the Ed Sheeran catalogue. It's got plenty of energy and vigour courtesy of the fast paced electric guitar riff that continues from the very opening of the track to the end with only a brief respite towards the back end of the song. The thudding kick drum keeps a solid rhythm throughout, the bass guitar provides a good melody as well, switching between bass and treble nicely and despite such force from the electric guitar, the production makes sure that the balance is just right so that the bass doesn't get swamped or muted. Plus, and this is a big statement, I think that this could be the best vocal performance Ed Sheeran has given in all of his songs. Behind the delivery, I get this real sense of earnestness and honesty that I find undeniable. What also helps is that Ed doesn't force anything on the song but lets everything flow rather naturally. Plus, the little inflections are on point from the slight rough edge in his voice either during or on the end of the chorus to breaking into that falsetto like shrill that follows afterwards it's just beautiful to listen to again I'm not surprised that the better song in this scenario is the one that doesn't receive the accolade of the number one spot on the charts and thus that cycle will continue however instead of getting worked up I choose to appreciate what Ed has given us with this song it's well written the instrumentation and production is pretty damn fantastic and the vocals are terrific. Easily a song that's going to stick with me for the rest of the year and here's hoping that the album is just as great.